Now this is great because if you've got 3 by 3 determinants down, then you can compute determinants inductively in any dimension, assuming you have the time. So for example, in the case of a 4 by 4 matrix, you pick your favorite row, your favorite column. Let's say we expand about the first row. So you take A11, and then minus A12, then plus A13, then minus A14. And in each case, you're using the 3 by 3 determinant of the associated minors. And since you know how to compute 3 by 3 determinants, now you're all set. So for a 4 by 4 matrix, the determinant is given in terms of a minor expansion formula, where you have to do a bunch of 3 by 3 determinants. And you can pick your favorite row or column. And once you have 4 by 4s down, you can do 5 by 5, 6 by 6, whatever you want, as long as you are careful to follow the sign convention and use those alternating signs in the minor expansions. So in general, the upper left-hand corner, the A11 term, always has a plus, and then it alternates, it switches, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, along rows and columns. If you remember this when doing a minor expansion, you pick your favorite row, your favorite column, hopefully one with lots of zeros, and you are good to go.